Trying to get that good thumbnail. <laughs> It's Sophie. I am back with another new video. It's been a minute. First things first, I realized I've not been as consistent lately at this <clears throat> Ooh, she can't talk. At this point right now, it is almost impossible for me to produce two videos a week. Um, every week. I should do like a little life update video. Just like talk about what's been going on in my life. Number one, I got a job. Your bitch is employed. <laughs> That's actually part of the reason why I'm not able to upload as frequently so Until further notice I will be going back to only Saturday uploads like back up was in the beginning I was able to do two when I first started doing two videos a week because I was in freaking middle school Like you do nothing there. So it was fine for me to upload twice a week I don't know how I did it all throughout high school. It was incredibly hard It really is hard to upload twice a week to produce videos I don't know how like people who upload daily do it, but anyways, I will be posting only on Saturdays that will be much easier on me the content will be better because I'm not stressing myself out to film and edit two videos a week so yeah let's get into the actual point of this video some freshman advice boy am I late on the back-to-school train for YouTube like I'm I missed it I missed the train I'm still not in school yet I'm going back to school September 5th or 6th I don't know, I should figure that out. But I'm going back to school. I know that a bunch of you guys started school and you've been requesting for me to do a freshman advice video. I did a freshman advice video right after I finished my freshman year of high school and since then I have learned so much more. I'll link it down below, but like don't take her advice. Don't take sophomore Sophie's advice because sophomore Sophie did not know shit. I'm a senior now, so I definitely know more than I did when I was a sophomore about high school. So I wrote out some notes in my notes app and we're gonna talk about advice tip number uno keep your circle small I wish that I knew this when going into freshman year when I was going into my freshman year and when I was going into my sophomore year too which is why you should not trust that last video I was under the impression that like I needed to be friends with everyone I think that in that video I still said like you don't need to be friends with everyone my little ass still had fear of missing out I wanted to be everyone's best friend which is almost impossible it's not a realistic goal when going into high school you don't need to be everyone's friend you can be cool with everyone that's different but when when I say like being everyone's friend, I mean like the people that you confide in, the people that you talk to, like tell your secrets to or that you go to. Don't have that number get too high because it doesn't need to. Like you don't need everyone in your business. You don't need to be everyone's best friend. And also not everyone's gonna like you in high school too. You know how many people don't like me in my school? A lot. <laughs> not everyone's gonna like you. So, and you can't help that. You don't have any control over that. So whether you're a mean person or the nicest person in the world, there will be people wherever you go that just won't like you. So that being said, it is almost impossible, if not impossible, to be friends with everybody in your school. Unless you go to a really small school. I don't, so. So keep your circle small. I got this good advice from my mother. If you graduate with two or one, like, solid friend. If you graduate high school with one solid friend, you're good. You're good. Try to make a couple friends, though, because high school is definitely harder. If you don't have any friends, especially if you're going to a new school, to make a couple friends because it helps a lot if there are a couple people that you can go to doesn't even need to be a best friend but just like people to have by your side you know so keep that circle small tip number two being a part of drama slash being messy is not cute this is something that I thought was cute in middle school and freshman year it's not cute especially like with with messy culture and like shade and tea culture like on social media and stuff like that people think that starting drama being messy ruining friendships ruining relationships is cute it's not cute it's immature and you look dumb you look sad that's honestly true like it's just it's not cute I feel like a lot of people go in with that mentality because they think that it's a way to be the center of attention or like to be cool or to make friends it's not like that's not that's not the right way to go about making friends or like getting attention you would just be known for someone who starts drama unless that's what you want to be known for I don't know why you'd want to be known for that but I advise you not to be that person you don't have to be messy or be rude or bully to be cool it's not cool it's just immature and when you leave high school because high school does not last forever you're going to be looked down upon so much if you're someone who just enjoys creating problems and 
so disrespectful especially when you get a job and like join the workforce or go to college you're just gonna be looked down upon because that's so middle school that's so immature it's not cute leading me on to uh, tip number three or like point number three having bad grades is not cute either and let me explain what I mean by this you know those memes where it's just like oh like when someone else failed the test too in your class like and then like they give each other a high five don't do that don't do like don't get warped into the idea that like failing classes is okay as long as other people are failing too. No, just because your friend is failing doesn't mean that you need to be failing. I felt so much better about a bad test grade in school if somebody else got a bad test grade as well. That's not what you want to be thinking. Like, just because someone else is failing doesn't mean that you should be failing. I know that it sucks. I know that it's annoying, but I'm going to be a mother for a second. Do your homework, study, get good grades. Like, honestly, nothing bad will come from good grades, but bad things will come from having bad grades. Even if whatever you want to do after high school doesn't require you to even graduate high school or go to college or get a degree doesn't matter because you never know what's gonna happen having bad grades will come and bite you in the ass it will this is like great for incoming freshmen people who are going into their freshman year of high school or starting their first year of middle school or first year of college whatever this is a clean slate this is brand new like use your clean slate it's so annoying like trust me I don't like doing homework I don't like doing it but it's like Bitch, just do it. Like, you have to do it. Ask questions in class. If you're not aware of what you need to do to pass the class, ask your teacher, and they will gladly tell you. Teachers, like someone who is a teacher's pet, I'm a teacher's pet. I know for a fact teachers love when you ask them, what can I do to improve in your class? What can I do to get better grades? What do I need to do in your class to succeed? Teachers freaking love that because it shows that you care. So just, just do it. Let's just do it. Tip number four, make friends with people outside of your school. For people who are worried, if you, if you don't have any friends in your school, if you don't like the people in your school, that happens sometimes. Like for people who go to really small schools where friend group options are very limited and if you don't like the people in your school or you can't find a group that you can relate to, you can make friends outside of school. And this was something that I wish I knew when going into high school. Cause when you're in high school, it feels like this small little world and it's hard to think outside of that world because think about it, you're there five days a week, every week, all school year so it's hard to sort of think outside of that world that you're in so I kind of got into the mentality that like these are my only friends for the next four years that is some bullshit I can make friends outside of school you can make friends outside of school it's easier for me because I live in New York City it's like a big ass city so there's so many people here but if you live in a small town I would recommend maybe joining a club outside of school like swimming to horseback riding to I don't know what you guys do in the suburbs um I don't know like whatever whatever floats your boat just join a club clubs are like the easiest way to go or like a class like for me I've been thinking about joining like a photography class or an editing class because your girl needs help editing something like that where you can easily meet new people there are many resources out there bottom line is you do not have to only be friends with people that are inside of your school because there's an entire world outside of high school believe it or not like there are people outside of your school that don't go to your school. <laughs> so be their friend and meet people outside of school. That's what I've been doing all summer. Like I, I haven't been hanging out with people from my school. <laughs> I've been meeting new people and like I don't know it's great build good relationships with your teachers this will help you so much I don't care if somebody calls you a teacher's pet I don't care you shouldn't care that doesn't mean that you have to be like kissing your teachers ass all the time but it's just making a good first impression and keeping that good impression just don't be on their bad side that's it you don't have to be their best friend but it's just like when they think of you they should think highly of you they should not think that you're a bad student especially when it comes time for recommendation letters for college like I would be called a teacher's pet but I'm like all right but when it comes time for recommendation letters and I'm getting all of my letters and you have zero because none of your teachers know you don't say anything it's literally going to be so beneficial for you like I won't always raise my hand in class even though participate it will help you you should participate but for example I don't always raise my hand in class I won't always be very talkative in class I don't always go to like after school tutoring sessions but at the end of the day all of my teachers, when they hear the name Sophie Ming, they know who I am as a student. And if I were to ask for a recommendation letter, they would be able to easily write one. Simple. Unless your teachers don't like you. I had some teachers who did not like me. 
don't go to those teachers for recommendation letters because they're not going to write a good one. Number six, I'm just adding this just for the fun of it. Uh, if you're a freshman, don't get romantically involved with seniors. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Nine times out of ten, they do not have your best interest in mind and they're going to go to college. You're still going to be in high school. They're probably never going to talk to you again. So why waste, your, like, why waste anyone's time? Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. If a senior approaches you trying to get all romantically involved, be like, nigga, no. Number seven, my last piece of advice. This is gonna sound so cliche, but it's true. <laughs> I can't even say like without laughing. High school goes by so fast. That is so true. Like it literally goes by so quickly. I remember, I remember the video where it was my first day of high school, get ready with me. Like I remember making that video. I remember my first day of high school. <laughs> By the time that you guys are watching this, I would have already completed my very first day of high school. That was a very cringy video, but I still remember making it. And now I'm going into my last year of high school. Like, where did those, where did those years go? I don't know. I guess like my, my point is there will be times you're just like, oh my God, I hate high school. Like, this is so hard. Like, oh my gosh bitch like you'll be fine like you'll honestly be fine it's not it's not that serious it's four years of your life of your entire life it's so minuscule it's so small if you don't if someone doesn't like you whatever a good chunk of the friends that you make you'll probably never end up speaking to again and that's okay that's fine i feel like people will take high school so seriously like oh my god it's the best four years of your life it's not it's probably not going to be the best four years of your life but you just got to do it do your work study do what you got to do make friends have fun if you can join clubs and stuff like that but just remember like it's not that serious don't take it so seriously you'll be out before you know it moving on to other things your friends will be moving on to other things and you'll be fine so hopefully that was some good advice I feel like a mother like I feel like I just gave some wisdom on to you guys like you're welcome so that is it for today's video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what grade you're going into I'm going into 12th grade I'm a senior I'm about to leave this bitch <laughs> if you already started school tell me how's it going how are you enjoying it if you haven't started school good luck good luck to all the freshmen good luck to everyone and yeah, I'm a go. I love you all and I will see you next, I was about to be like this Tuesday, but no, next Saturday with another new video. Bye. No, it's not. I think that I've been dead since the start. I haven't felt too much inside my heart. But I don't even care no more. I'm